here we have an instance loaded into um, oxygen and I want to speak this instance. What I mean by speaking the instance is working my way through logically to try and decode what's in this instance into an understanding of what the instance is about. So I've just opened this instance and I'm going to begin by closing it all down, by getting rid of all the complexity. So all of those first level elements I'm going to close down and now I see something that's quite a bit simpler than I had before. Of course I can close this one down but then it's too simple. But actually let's start right there. This is the root element, the document, the root node or the document element and it's called prototype. Well what should I take that to mean? I guess this is a prototype. This is, that's what this XML file is about. It's a prototype. Hmm. Okay, well, for what that's worth, it hasn't told me much now, but at least I have some perspective. It's not a, it's not a cantaloupe. It's a prototype. Okay, so now let's look at this next level of, um, the next level of items here. And now, of course, without any subject matter expertise, any any ma any expertise in the vocabulary of what this prototype is about. I might not be getting very far, but I chose this file because it uses terms that we all know about, terms that we've been talking about. So let's skip about for a moment and say this prototype has, and this is the first word that I'd like you to be able to use when you're speaking an instance. When you're speaking an instance, that means trying to decode an instance that you um, don't necessarily know a lot about. You want to use that word has all the time. The parent tag has the child tag. The prototype has an about. The prototype has an information type. The prototype has access structures. So these are the main things that the prototype is consisting of. These are the main things that it's covering. So we now know what kind of prototype it is because we have some ability, we have some subject matter expertise, we know the vocabulary of information management and we know that these words info type and access structures are part of the vocabulary of information management. So now we know that this is a prototype for some sort of information management thing. Let's call it a thing right now, it's probably a system, but let's call it an information management thing because we're not that sure about it. And we know that that information management, we know it's an information management thing, that it's a prototype of an information management thing because we know those two words, info type and access structures. Now we can look deeper into each of these and get a feeling more about what's going on even further. So a prototype has an info type. Notice, by the way, that this is a singular. So the prototype has an information type. I don't see it saying information types. I see it saying information type. If that was a plural, then I can say a prototype has information types in it. But actually what I have to say here is a prototype has an information type in it. So that's the structure of this file. And that's a, that's a big conclusion that we can draw already, even having un, un, revealed very little of the file. So a prototype has an info type. That info type and now I get a lot of complexity again, so I'm going to close it right back down to the level of complexity that I can deal with. And I'm going to keep closing it down until I get to back down to that info type tag. It may take me a minute because there's a bunch of stuff in here. But what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get rid of as much complexity as possible to see the, 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 the wider structure of the file. Okay, so now I have a prototype, has an info type, and an info type has a title. Hmm. The info type title is news article. Okay, well, now I can start to think about that and say, let's see, the prototype, it's a prototype that has a single information type in it, and that single information type is a news article. I see. The information type is a news article. And then what do I have? Well, if I think about the vocabulary, it really is logical that I have a set of items that are all of that information type. So I have the news article information type and a set of articles, a set of items under that news article date, uh, uh, news article um, information type. So now I have that third major concept of the class, I have info type, info items, and access structures. So there's my different items of information under an info type. So somehow this is a prototype of information management context. It has an info type and that info type has, has items. I'm not going to go into detail. Well, let me just let me just quickly say a few of the things that an item has. Again, I'm going to close that down, and I can see that an item has a title as well. An item has an ID. An item has a source ref ID. Now, if I don't immediately understand what those things mean, I'm not going to be so worried about it at the moment because I'm really just trying to figure out what's going on with this instance. And now I know that the instance has 
uh, an info type. The info type has an item, and the item has a title, and the item has an ID, and the item has something called a source ref ID. Um, and you'll excuse my phone while it rings. I'm just going to let it ring through. Okay, so now I can close up info type, and I can take stock of what I know. I know that a prototype has an about, which I haven't studied yet. It has an info type, which I did study a little bit about, and realize that the info type itself contains something called items. And then finally, that has access structures. And I'm going to open up these access structures, and now immediately close things down again, and see that the access structures that this prototype have has are hierarchy, and it's a hierarchy, and a sequence. Right There it is. So I have a hierarchy and a sequence under access structures. So now let me try and draw some conclusions about what's going on with this. I know that it's a, um, I know that it's about information management because of the vocabulary that's being used. And I know, according to Bob anyway, that the three big words in information structure, sorry, I've been saying information management, I should really have been saying information structure, but those two things really combine in my mind a lot of times. Okay, so we have a prototype. That prototype has info types in it. The info types have items. And the prototype also has access structures in it. And those access structures come in the, in the hierarchy and the sequence variety. These are Some of these terms are already familiar to you. Some of them you'll get to pretty soon. Um, but I want you to be able to uh, perform the same activity on instances that you see. So we close everything down to try and figure out what is this thing about. And then we progressively open up each of the children to say, in turn, what are they about? But at every step, we're trying to, find, to create a mental model. Where we, in fact, we're trying to deduce the schema, the model that's behind this, this, um, this instance that will tell us exactly what, what we need to know about the instance, which is what is it about, how would I work with it, how would I manipulate it, how could I add to it and enhance it, etc. Okay, a brief word about the about. This is about what? So now we're going to, instead of saying a prototype has about, we're going to go in the direction to understand this, this tag. About what? About the prototype. Here we have a title tag. Title of what? Title of the info type. So we say an info type has a title. From the other direction, we say this is the title of the info type. The prototype has an about, but it makes a lot more sense to say it's about the prototype. So the things we see in this about tag ought to be things that are about the prototype. For example, let me close this down again. For example, the title of what? The title of the prototype. So this is the title of the about, about what? About the prototype. Therefore, this is the title of the prototype, the author of the prototype, the image associated with the prototype. Now, notice that it makes an incredible difference. We've seen this title tag three times now, and it makes an incredible difference where it is. The place where the title tag is does more than anything to tell you what it's the title of. If it's inside the info type, it's the title of the info type. If it's inside the about, it's the title of the about. If it's inside the author, it's the title of the author. So you have to pay attention to the context. As you drill down, you see what tags have. And as you drill back up again from lower tags to, to tags that are above them in the hierarchy, you see what those tags apply to, what they're, what they're describing, what they're metadata of. Okay, so a prototype has an about. And this about, as we look at it, really turns out to be just a, a container, a placeholder for all the information that's global to the entire prototype. So the prototype title, the prototype author, an image you associate with the prototype, an introduction to the prototype, and sources of information for the prototype. And that's how you read, a, that's how you read an instance file, by progressively revealing the different levels and trying to work out in your own mind what all the tags have, and then working back upwards, what a particular tag applies to.